Hello guys, Matthew here from UTI. So in today's video, we are going to talk about uh, advanced feature for the web chat. Okay. So this request is actually coming from one of our customers. And um, this is a little advanced usage. Okay. Uh, it's not necessary for, uh, for regular users. Okay. So I will first explain what this means. Um, first of all, um, who, what's, what is this? And who need this? Okay. Um, so imagine that you have your own platform, whether this is a WordPress uh, website or WooCommerce website or your own membership website or your own SaaS platform. Okay. So you keep a record of your customers' database when they log in. So now, if you are going to make your user experience more smooth, more seamless, you may want to do this. After they log in, you will have, you already have their login details. Okay. Their name, email, or the membership level, or, you know, the plan level or whatever. Okay. And imagine if you are using UChat web chat to offer live chat support or uh, member service, you might want to pass those information, users information directly when the user open the web chat. Okay. So that will save them, you know, um, so much time. You do not need to ask their name, email, and to verify you just uh, simply passing those information directly as long as, you know, as fast as they open the chat. And also you can pass extra information, extra parameters. And all those information will be saved into the user custom fields. And then you can use it in UChat flows. Okay. That is what this feature is about. So it's not for, you know, every users. This is especially for the advanced users and who have their own platform who want to make things easier. Okay. So as I said, this requires developer knowledge. And now, um, we will show you a quick demo. Okay. I will sp skip some of the parts and I will show you uh, the code we are using and we will soon update our knowledge base and you can copy the code from the knowledge base. Okay. So, um, first of all, there are two separate features. Okay. One is to update users information. So basically you can use this script. I will show you very soon. And, um, you can add this below the web chat script. Okay. And then you can pass the user's email name, a profile image. You can pass all these information. Okay. So let me show you, uh, how to use this and, um, let me switch to my, uh, demo. Okay. So imagine I'm using a Google tag manager. Okay. Just to test. And I'm using a uh, WooCommerce website. So I already log in. You can see I already log in. So, um, I am using, uh, a Google tag manager, um, plugin. So basically I will have the user's information, uh, pushed in the data layer. Okay. I will see, okay. Who is logging? Uh, what's the user's, um, type and what's the user's name? What's the ID? And all this information is already passing into data layer, which I already, um, I can read this, all this personalized customer information into a variable to use. Okay. So that's how you can make it dynamically. So every user, when they log in, all these values will change. You just use the variable and then they will, all those user identify information will be passing to you chat, uh, web chat. So I have a script, um, that is in here. And if you open that, you will see, um, yeah. So this is a web chat script. Okay. That you need to install on all the pages. So I have this script loading first, and then I have this script that is, um, adding behind that script. Okay. So it's a uh, invent listener. Okay. It has a chatbot ready and you have a function and this is the values you needed to use. 
and you needed to change, you needed to dynamically change this to your own variables. Okay, for example, this set user, usually this will be a unique user ID. Okay, so I will um, just uh, put it over here. Okay, and this uh, you can see I'm using um, a variable. Okay, this variable is going to dynamically change. And also same for the email, for the name and for the user profile. Okay, and this is the script I'm going to use. And let me save this one. And let me preview. And it will reload the page. It will reload the page. Okay, as you can see, it's already connected. And um, you can see the script is already firing. And all those information is sending over. And now if you go to the bot users, if you refresh, you doesn't see any users created yet. Okay, so um, this chat widget, when it's loaded, it doesn't um, fire the script. It's only fire the script when you click this widget button. Even you doesn't send anything, but uh, when you click this, once it's opened, um, this script will be firing. Okay, now you just need to refresh. You will see this user is already created. Okay, uh, the, the tricky part is you can see this email is already sending, um, you know, because you already log in. So we know which is the user. We know that email address and also we know that name. Okay, so all those information is already created. And ideally, when you start the conversation, you can skip the part to verify the user, okay, because you already have the um, customer's information. Okay, so um, one tricky part about uh, this script you need to know is this user ID here. So this user ID here have nothing to do our web chat um, user ID. Okay, it have nothing to do with us. So basically what we do is as long as this ID is unique, is different, we will create a cookies and your browser. Okay, so that we will um, update the users. Okay, and basically because this set user doesn't need to update frequently. Okay, as long it has the cookies, as the ID is the same, we doesn't update anything. Okay, unless um, the user's information get updated. So let me uh, show you a quick example here. So for example, um, if I let me switch my screen, if I change the email address, okay, I'm not using a dynamic one. Okay, I'm using a test at gmail.com. So something is changed, okay, even the ID user ID is still the same. So if I save this, and I will preview this. And I will see a uh, wait is connected and I will refresh the page. And I open the widget. Okay, now I go back to you chat to chat, refresh, reload the page, as you can see, this email address is already updated. Okay, and also the profile image is already updated. So, so at so the ID is identifier for us. Okay, if it's the same ID, if the information is the same, we doesn't update. Okay. However, if there is anything changed in the user's profile, um, we will update that cookie. Okay. If you if that cookie is deleted from your browser, um, basically we will just recreate a new user. Okay. So that is one of the features that is you can update the user's information okay now we are talking about another feature is you can pass extra parameters into the user's custom fields so it's very uh, simple actually for example this is a script we are going to use and also we are going to um, have this script in our help documentations so that you can check later okay so um, let me copy the script and make it, um, let me copy this. 
So for example, if I go to the Google Tag Manager, this is the script we are going to use. And we are going to remove this one, set user. Okay. We have this one. So I think this is Um, paste of here. Okay, so this is the script we're going to use. It's window uh, chatbot set user custom custom attributes. Now, one very um, important um, things over here is you need to make sure the name parameters you are using in the script is exactly the same user custom fields in your bot. Okay, this is very important. So let me show you. For example, uh, we are using the providers. Okay, we are using the issue title. Those are the variables we are going to passing over. And if I go to UChat and I go to content, go to user custom fields, you can see I have the provider exactly the name. Okay. I think I also have the issue title exactly the same name. Okay. So that will make sure we update the correct value. So if the value name is different, uh, even you have it over here, we will not do anything. Okay. Before we cannot be because we cannot match that uh, user custom fields. So uh, these two will be dynamically populated. Um, let me uh, save this. Um, I first go to the bot users. I need to make sure, okay, you can see currently those two values doesn't have any value, okay? So now I go to uh, Google Tag Manager, preview, refresh the script. And once it's connected, the page is loaded. Um, we should have those values dynamically change, okay? So let's click this widget. And let's go to the um, bot users again, reload the page. Let's open it up. As you can see, uh, the provider is already have the values dynamically populated. The issue title also have the value. Okay. Those are the values uh, which I use is in here. So um, if I click this one, this is the variable I'm using. So basically I use the registration date. Uh, as a number that is passing over in the user custom fields. I also use a user's role administrator that is passing to the user custom fields. Okay. So those are the two scripts that you can use each in individually, or you can use them in combination or together. Okay. So that's how you can pass extra user identifiable information from third party or pass extra parameters into um, your chatbot user custom fields. Okay. It allows maximum 10 extra parameters you can passing over. Um, yeah. So that is the whole content for today. Okay. So today we talk about the uh, preview the user's data um, for your web chat users. Okay. See you next. See you guys next time. Bye.